Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Mavfix. Got another video for you guys today. We got this nice A1707. This, I believe it's a 2016 um, 15 inch MacBook Pro. It's in here, it's not powering on. And uh, let's go ahead and see. I do know actually in the 2016 model, they actually uh, cut off updates for the 2016 model. So you can't actually get Ventura anymore, which is really a shame because these ones are very nice, very big screens, and they're very expensive back in the day. For it. I know it's still a little bit newer, but you have the same model, I think, for the 2017, though, and that still gets Ventura on there. So uh, I just remember because we were just doing repair for someone recently on that, and that actually did come up because I was like, why why can't this MacBook take the later OS? I didn't, I just couldn't understand that. I was like, oh, oh, it's not supported. Of course not. Now, these are Intel ones, too, so I don't know how much more support the Intel ones are going to get because if you remember, they did say that there was going to be a transitional period. Um, going from the M1s or, you know, the Apple Silicon ones um, usually took, I think, they said about two or three years when they released them. So that was back in what, 2020. So you probably think maybe you're going to see more of this happening probably on the Intel ones. Wouldn't be too surprised. But we're focused on this one right now. Let's see the symptoms going on. I'm going to plug this in. Let's see what we get here. Here are 19 volts, about 20, 30. Whoops. You guys can't see it's upside down. There we go. So we got our 19 volts. Looks like it's climbing, but it's not turning on. And if you look, it's very steady. It wasn't going super rapidly. It usually jumps from like 0 0.3, 0 0.4, you know, or 0 0.9, and then it goes 1.3, uh, and then maybe like 2 amps. That's usually like something very obvious, but press the power button to nothing. But let's see if it climb back down, because usually it falls. Uh, so it looks like it's, it's hanging out about almost one amp and that's usually what we're getting here So there's something going on is most likely there's a short going on there um, So we want to go ahead and see what's causing that short to happen, right? So let's go ahead open this up real quick and uh, see what we have in store Let's see if there's any evidence of anything. I don't really see any evidence of damage. Oh, and this one by the way has The webcam cover I actually made a video talking about this one. Uh, if you look and close it, it's really very dangerous because you can easily damage the device that way. See that? It's gonna be touching that and it shouldn't be, it should be balanced on all the sides. Put pressure on it, it's really scary. So I need to be careful opening and closing this one on top of doing a repair because it's a very expensive screen as well. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's going on. So let's open it up. Let's see what we got here. So you can kind of immediately see on you know, the bottom cover. There's some sticky here. This looks like a liquid spill. And yep, even on the trackpad cable, you can see it's a little bit sticky. Let me zoom in. There you go. You can see some corrosion close to that trackpad area right here, right? So what we want to do, obviously, is uh, take out the battery. I want oh, this on with it. Looks like there's a little bit of corrosion there, too. Okay, so disconnected the battery. Um, and that's really close to the trackpad. See around this BGA area that there is a little bit of corrosion, too. Let's actually un let's just take out this real quick. We can take a uh, closer look after this, but let's take this out. And we always want to be careful, especially if we see corrosion around this area, right? Because we don't want to make this worse. But okay, it looks like it just hit more of the top part there. Um, and we need to see, because sometimes this can be damaged and you need to be careful even removing it. Let's see if there's any kind of problem here. Okay, so this comes up. There's always want to be careful whenever you see liquid around these types of areas, right? Um, because what the liquid can do, it can corrode around the trackpad area or around any type of connection. Um, if it's around the connection, you want to be careful because when you remove it, it could be stuck to the connection. It could be already burned and melted. And if you rip it, you could be ri ripping it off and making it worse. This one's a little bit luck more luckier because there was a uh, covering around it and it got stuck around the screw area there. Uh, but we also see a little bit around the BGA area here too. And then this is close to the keyboard. So I'm curious just to see, uh, we'll probably have to remove the board anyway because we want to take a look uh, uh, under the microscope and then as well as you see anything else underneath there. Um, don't see any obvious liquid outside of the area that we've seen here. So you flip it over, kind of see about the same thing going on here. Um, obviously, there's a little stain though close to where um, this area is though. The, the, this, this is probably like, not the Wi-Fi chip, but a little bit of a stain here, but it doesn't look to be corroded or anything. Um, let's do a visual inspection too under the microscope and we'll see. We'll take a look at this area, obviously, because that's the most damaged area and uh, see if there's anything else that's really obvious. All right, so let's take a look at 
damage. See in this area? All right, that's not good. This is U1100. <laughs> we really hope that's not going to be a problem. So it probably doesn't look like it, even though some of the corrosion gets pretty close to it over here. And if we look, actually under all this, I think there's a little resistor right down there, right next to all this. And and a little the brown area and the blue area, it's all covered up there. Um, this is another area that we're actually worried about too. This is the area that's corroded too. This is the, the BGA chip, this is the U5000. And uh, usually if it has this, usually it's a SMC um, chip there, but you can see it's corroded. Now, if I actually bring this up, you're like, well, why is this important? It, even though it's really obvious that there's corrosion and that there's liquid damage, like, well, why does it really matter? Well, if we go over to our um, external there, you go to the edge pins, we can see this is where the heaviest damage is, right? So some of them are uh, ground or they're just not going to be not connected. As you can see, there's black here, so some of them don't really matter as much. But you have other ones, you see SMC Wake, and now we have this one is, a, is our V3G3 Hot, and that is going to be very important for the laptop really to be powered on and turning on, especially if there's any corrosion around that or even getting underneath. But even when you're cleaning or just doing a reflow of that, which would be to break up all, you want to clean off the corrosion right as well as um, make sure that the solder is going to be strong. You want to do that, and, w and when you do that, you have to be really careful because it's very easy to damage it. Or you see all these other balls too, especially if you're applying a lot of heat, they can connect to other ones and they can give you, that would be a severe problem, you don't want that. All right, so not a very, very exciting time uh, doing this. I didn't really consider putting it in because we just did ultrasonic and a basic cleaning. It actually did really well here. Cleaned up very, very well. Now, however, there's the other side where it was really corroded from before. There was this resistor over here. We're just putting in another one because it was still giving us a problem, but this is gonna actually should do the fix for it, um, and that should really be about it. Okay, so we did a fix for it. Uh, this model requires a battery, so you have to plug in the battery Otherwise, it's going to give you a battery icon. Let's go ahead, plug it in. Ooh, look at that. Immediately. Really fast. So I did want to just go right to the bootable drive, but that's really the thing. There's still a name anyway, but I guess this will be close enough. It's still, still got to blur it out, but it looks like it's working. Looks like it's good. Getting a correct voltage, getting 19 and a half volts, and almost 3 amps, which is fantastic. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing the A1707. MacBook Pro, nice 15 inch one. Oh man, if you know how I feel about one of these up here, definitely, definitely uh, watch one of our older videos before. And obviously, there's a little dent in there. Always be careful of these screens. The screens are very, very expensive. But we always recommend try not to have the webcam cover. Because even for us, we have to close it very gently, make sure there's no pressure on top, make sure everything there is. And that's even beyond liquid spill repair for this one, right? So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye.